Hi Pisces, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Pisces with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so your first card out is a personal issue reaches resolution. Full moon and cancer. Some of you could be dealing with a cancer if you are not. Um, it says that um, this is a, a time where maybe a challenge or some challenge in time is coming to an end. Okay. Uh, this card also talks about domestic space. Um, this can even be um, indicative of maybe you moving your home, moving home. It also talks about you needing to be a kind leader. You may be the leader in a relationship or home. You need to be more kind, more uh, loving, more giving. Um, it's best to move towards whatever it is you want to, whatever it is you're trying to get. Maybe you need to move in like a sideways manner, being taking this front on full frontal approach, aggressive approach is not going to get you what you really want or the answer that you're looking for. So you might have to kind of sidestep it. You might have to be a little bit passive. Um, the cards are asking you not to be clingy. Um, meditate. Okay. Meditate. So it'll help soothe your emotions. Just quiet yourself. Close your eyes. Think of something, think of water, rushing water, anything. Stop sulking. Stop, you know, um, crying over it, being sad. It's time to get up and do something and make something happen. Also, it's asking you, have you been around your family enough? Maybe it's you missing your family. Um, some of you miss your children is what I'm getting. Um, this is a very feminine time for you right now. Um, the answer to your question this is also about insecurities and it's, it's about time to, for you to overcome your insecurities. You could be longing for a home, maybe going to visit, you know, people in your hometown or back home. It says, don't worry, all will be well soon. So some of you could just be in a place of maybe a little bit depression, grief, or just missing or feeling like you're missing out. Okay. So let's see what the Tarot has to say for you. Some of you are empty nesters or uh, maybe you aren't seeing your children as much. Let's see. How is Pisces coming into the reading? Seven of Cups. Yeah, you're definitely overindulging, thinking too much about something, being completely emotional, wishful thinking, not enough action, drinking, smoking, anything to take yourself, you know, from making an actual decision in a very illusionary state of being maybe altered state of being some of you are smoking weed or getting high or just trying to keep yourself from feeling and you need to feel so that you can get through this what is the um what is pisces not seeing on um, the knight of cups there's inspiration there's spirit spirit guides there's an invitation or an offer an emotional one maybe to heal to make something right um yeah uh, be creative. Look outside of the box. Look outside of the box to solve um, a now problem. Okay. Um, what is the advice for Pisces? Ace of Wands. Do something. Get out there. Do something. Make it happen. This card is indicative of maybe a new business, entrepreneurial endeavor. It says throw your hat in the ring. Be up for the challenge. Yes, it is a challenge, but be up for it. Do something. Travel. Move. Make it happen. With the Ace of Wands here, it talks about energy. What is the outcome if Pisces takes the advice of the cards? What is the outcome if Pisces takes it? Okay. All right. If wanted to flip in reverse. None of my cards are reversed. The moon in reverse. So very nice. Um, this illusionary state, this altered state of being, this lying to yourself, this de self-deception, deceiving others, this clouded judgment, this veil, things being um, unrevealed to you. All of that it will not happen. All of that, everything will be clear. You'll also come out of maybe polar being manic or in, and then depression, not seeing that you are bipolar or anything of that nature. And if you are, um, you know, we don't shun uh, 
mental illness get what you need to um help you get through um but it says that you'll come out of that energy of just being overly emotional um of not knowing the next move and um feeling like you're feeling this through um it just says that you need to make some plan you've got all these dreams but not taking a lot of action on them you need to think outside of the box take action so you can come out of this super dreamy state of, of existing and you'll but you'll be more actionary you'll be taking it and i don't know if that's a word but you'll be uh you'll be taking action here because it looks like some of you just more so caught up in your emotions um yeah seven of swords it says uh write the vision make it plain write things down make a plan business plan uh life plan budget i don't know you need to write something down revision of a plan also with the seven of swords keep your plans to yourself but make sure that you write something down and you so you can execute so you can always go back to um, be strategic in whatever it is you are embarking on. This is an opportunity or this is the time for you to do something alone, says the seven of swords um, it, it partnerships and coming together. No, this is um, uh, lone wolf here. Um, and being good at it, wanting to do something alone also. So you might even need to make that known or express that. This is what I have for you. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website. Somebody, somebody's lies and cheating and all that stuff will be revealed to here. Okay, so that's coming out. Somebody's still in a home or living with someone in a home. Um, somebody's um, polar going back and forth or two different things at the same time. That's going to be revealed to this is what I have for you. If it resonates, go over to the website, book there, ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Ella Coffee link. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you guys. Many blessings to you. Take care.